Ooh. Oh, I like this. As I was blow drying my hair, I thought it was wet, but it was just so moisturized. Like my hands feel moisturized. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing an updated hair care routine, favorite products I'm loving and using, while showing you guys at the end how I get these bouncy Southern Belle curls, which is what I call them. So if you guys would like to see how I keep my hair strong, healthy, hydrated, and thriving and growing, then please keep watching. This video is probably the most requested on my channel. And like I say, every time I do an updated one, I always feel kind of conflicted because I don't ever want to do a video just for the sake of doing a video. I like to actually provide you with new and useful information. And to be honest, my hair care routine minimally changes. <laughs> so this is a lot like the last hair care routine that you guys have seen from me. But of course, I'm always happy to do an updated one each year as sometimes things do change. Just a little background about my hair. I like to always do that. I am relaxed. Now I know, don't try to crucify me. I believe every woman or man should do with their hair what they please and what they feel is best for them. I am not here to tell anyone to be natural or relaxed. I have been both in my adulthood and right now, for my ease and convenience, <laughs> a relaxer is just what works best for me. I won't always be relaxed probably when my life slows down when I'm old, <laughs> older and retired. I'll probably be natural, but having longer hair, natural hair is just, it takes so many products and it takes so many hours. And I would rather spend 30 to 45 minutes doing my hair than almost two hours and sweating. And then I live in the hot, humid South. Who is gonna sweat out their hair every week or every other week is not me. So I am relaxed. I keep my hair very healthy and strong though with the products that I'm gonna show you guys today. I also treat my hair with the philosophy that it's already very damaged. It's not very damaged, but I am aware that having a relaxer means that my hair cuticle is not as intact as it would be if I were natural. I treat my hair like it is very damaged. I use all reparative, super hydrating, and restorative products to kind of treat my hair prophylactically. Like uh, I'll treat it like it's really damaged to help build up its strength as much as I can because I know I am relaxed. These are the products that I have found over the years to work for me. Some of them I've been using for almost a decade, some of them are newer in my routine, but I like to keep it simple. I stick with brands that use high quality ingredients, but I also used to use Tresemme and my hair was almost down to the small of my back. Definitely use what works best for you. I only go to the hair salon to get a relaxer once every quarter. Every four months I will get a relaxer. Reason being, I used to be natural for so many years, so I really am used to a lot of rootage. I don't mind going longer without getting a touch up. I also feel like that helps to keep my hair from being over processed and becoming too damaged. I get a relaxer four times a year, it's better for my bank account and my scalp and my hair. We love that. I get a trim every time I get a relaxer and then I wash my hair on my own at home twice a month. The first of the month, like it is today, well it's the second week, but it's the first that I'm doing my hair this month, I will do my DIY hair mask. If you guys have been following me for about four to five years now, wow, you all know that this Queen Helene Super Cholesterol, which I'm not sure if you can still buy because I looked to link it and I want to say they're only selling the regular cholesterol, but I don't think it matters which formula you get as long as you buy the Queen Helene Cholesterol. Now I know probably a lot of you are clutching your pearls because you haven't seen this product in a long time. I should also state that I live here in Atlanta one of the major meccas of black hairstylists. And while many people think that is a pro, 
Uh, from my experience, it has been a con. I have had some horrible experience going to top hair salons and just receiving really bad treatment across the board. Hairstylists that don't care about the health of your hair, they just want people in their chair so they can make money. By all means, you know, if that's your business motto, that's great. But I go to what I call an old school hairstylist. She uses a Marcel. She does not overbook herself. She washes your hair. You don't have to come washed and blow dried. She does everything. Everything, but most importantly, she cares about the health of my hair. During the pandemic in 2020, I came to her after my original hairstylist moved to one of those super popular salons and I walked in and I was like, oh, I'm in the wrong place. And then it just got worse from there. So I stopped going to her and I found this woman. She is very far away, but it is worth it. I don't mind having to drive 45 minutes to an hour to get my hair done by someone who cares about the health more than anything else. So the first thing that she did was cut my hair because I had a lot of breakage in the back. I'll insert some pictures and my hair was kind of breaking in like an inverted U shape. What she basically told me was that my hair needed protein and moisture. So she got me on the Queen Helene treatment. This is a conditioning cream for very dry and damaged hair. So if you have dry brittle hair, if you deal with breakage or if you just want your hair to be very, very smooth and hydrated, I mean, the curls speak for themselves. Like this makes my hair feel so soft. Someone felt it one day and they said my hair felt like marshmallows. <laughs> that is an accurate comment. This really is a great product. I use this on its own sometimes when I don't feel like mixing the concoction, but I will place the DIY hair mask on the screen that I use. I use this once a month and it really helps to just build the moisture and protein back into my hair since I am relaxed and I don't use any hydration after I wash my hair. This was the best thing that my stylist could do. If you are experiencing dry, damaged, dehydrated hair, please find an old school hairstylist or just someone that cares more about the health of your hair. I had to get my hair cut into a bob. At the time, I was like, Ugh, you know, I have a big old head, but I ended up loving Miss Lorena Bobbitt and it grew out in like six months. I didn't have to have a bob for very long because I kept up with this DIY hair mask. And every time I go back to my hairstylist, she always tells me that she tells her other clients about my hair progress, the growth, and how sticking with the routine works. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Just with anything else, if you're consistent, you will see results this product is amazing. So sticking with products, I want to talk you guys or walk you through my hair care routine. The first thing that I do in the shower, of course, is to wash my hair. This is the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo. I was visiting my hairstylist one day and she used this. I only knew because I kind of saw the bottle and then I smelled the scent. It has a very distinct masculine, soapy, high quality shampoo scent. And I will say that when I wash my hair with this, it doesn't seem like it's getting my hair clean enough. Sometimes I don't feel like it suds up enough, but my hairstylist told me that when your hair is dirty and you put products like this on your hair, it might even, yeah, it's sulfate free. Uh, your hair won't lather if it has a lot of buildup on it. So after that first wash, you will notice that your hair lathers a lot more. But overall, you may not find that this gives you the best lather. Don't let it freak you out. It definitely cleanses your hair, but more than anything it hydrates your hair. I'm not someone who thinks you have to spend a bunch of money on a shampoo like I did but it works for me. I wash my hair twice a month. I don't have to go to the salon every other week or every month, so I don't mind spending a bit more on my products, and I know that this works. The second product that I use in my routine in the shower is my Audra Beauty Balment Deep Conditioning Treatment. Baby, baby, baby. Mm. I have so much love for this product. I got this off a recommendation from so many of my friends online, mainly makeup handbags, etc. She I actually want to give away where she gifted me a miniature size of this, but my girl Brown Girl Lux has been talking about this for years. And the gag is that Brown Girl Lux is actually natural. So Audra Beauty is a black owned hair care line. It's sold at Sephora, but it's specifically formulated for natural hair. So I was hesitant to try this deep conditioning treatment because I didn't want it to be too heavy. A lot of products meant for curly natural hair have a lot of um, conditioners in it that can wear your hair down. Mm -mm. This does not weigh your hair down at all. It makes my hair so soft and smooth. 
It smells like a sweet peppermint. It just smells so amazing. It feels really good in your scalp, but it doesn't give you that tingling sensation, at least I don't think. But I love this. Juicy hydrated hair. This is a must if you are relaxed or natural. I know for a fact you will love this. It makes your hair so soft. You need this, you need it, you need it. So on the second wash of the month when I'm not using the DIY deep conditioner, I just use this as a regular conditioner. That's another tip. I don't use a traditional conditioner because my hair is already relaxed and I like to treat it like it's very damaged. I use a deep conditioner as my regular conditioner and this amazing. Okay, outside of the shower, the next three things I kind of use all at once. First is my Retin Anti-Snap, and you guys know I've been using this for almost probably seven or eight years. I finally finished this bottle. I mean, it's not my first bottle, but this bottle lasts so long, but this is basically a protein treatment that helps build up the protein and strength in your hair, so it keeps your hair from breaking. I always say I can't really speak to how well that works, but I know that it doesn't damage my hair. I've been using it for years and I will continue to use it. I just had to repurchase it this morning because I am all out. This product is amazing. It's high quality. It doesn't weigh my hair down. It's more of a lotiony gel type of texture and it keeps my hair strengthened. So we love Redken for that. One of my girls on Instagram, hi friend if you're watching, told me about this product a few years ago and since then I've been hooked. This is the Purology 21 Essentials Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray. If you do your own hair at home and you use this, it will feel like you got your hair done in the salon. What I love about this is it conditions my hair so well without weighing it down and it smooths the cuticle so that my hair just feels really nice and smooth. I can't even describe it, but when I wasn't using this product, my hair never looked super shiny and like smooth. This makes my hair so immensely smooth. So it protects against 21 things. Color vibrancy, it's a leave-in conditioner, it detangles, it makes blow drying easier, it moisturizes parched hair, yada, yada, yada. I use all of these on wet hair, by the way. After I get out of the shower, I love this. I put it all over my hair, through my hair from, I don't put it on my skin, out, but from almost to my roots to my ends and I cannot live without this it's not going to weigh your hair down Purology is not a company made specifically for African-American or textured hair. So you can be certain that more often than not, the products aren't gonna be too heavy. I don't use this as much for moisture as I use it for smoothing. It's something about what this does to my hair's cuticle. I can't get enough. I will be using this forever and ever. It's a little pricey and I use a lot of it at a time because it just makes my hair feel so juicy, but I love it. It's very well worth it to me. Okay, and the last product that I use on damp hair is of course, a heat protectant. So this is the Moroccan Oil Perfect Defense Heat Protectant. And I want to tell you before you buy this product, you have to use this on damp hair. If you don't, it will make your hair feel sticky and your hair won't get smooth. It'll just feel really weird. So be sure that as you buy different products, as you try different products, that you read the directions very carefully because you spray this all over damp hair. Before I use my blow dryer and of course before I use my flat iron, I spray this all over my hair. What I really like is that this is a nice mist. Very lightweight. Once again, Moroccan oil products, I believe, are made more for textured hair, but this is very light. It doesn't weigh my hair down. I just sprayed it in the air. It isn't making me cough, but it does have that same strong-ish scent like a masculine cologne high quality something. The scent isn't my favorite, but it's not horrible. I definitely like the Purology a lot more. It's a lot more feminine, but this does the job. It's a heat protectant. Will I repurchase it? Probably. I'm not someone who's like married to a heat protectant, but this one is nice and I tend to go for a spray over something like an oil just because I like to have my hair free flowing. Definitely love the Moroccan Oil Perfect Heat Defense Heat Protectant. Now, after I blow dry and flat iron my hair, I'm gonna start using this product. So I was actually just gifted this in PR today. This is the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. And 
I wish my hairstylist could come on camera, but also I know that if she did, I wouldn't be able to book an appointment. So yeah, we're not gonna invite her on the channel, but she's amazing. And so I'm always keeping my eyes peeled for what products she uses so that I can go home and replicate the same results because I'll pay for products so that I don't have to run to the salon every other week. Yeah, I'd rather buy some makeup. This is the bonding oil that's kind of like a finishing oil. Reduces frizz and flyaways, extends color and renews vibrancy. Oh, it's a heat protection up to 450 degrees. Shortens drying time, softens and detangles. No residue, color, color safe, vegan and alcohol free. So I would use this as a finishing oil. It is a lighter weight oil. Let's see. Oh, this smells nice. Oh, I love that you just dab it. Ooh, it smells like fruity. Okay, so this is my first time using it. And I'm just going to place a little, oh, this is nice, on the tops of my hair and on my ends. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be my new favorite finishing oil. It's very, very lightweight. Like even as it's in my hands, I can't see the oil. Hmm, okay, we like this. So let me know if you guys have tried Olaplex. I was just telling one of my friends that we're both gonna do the Olaplex challenge because they have been sending me products, but I haven't used them yet. Maybe I will do a review on Olaplex. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Okay, now let's talk tools. These are the three kind of tools, brushes, combs, products that I use when styling my hair. A carbon comb, which is a heat resistant comb. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply because I do the comb chase method. So in a little bit, when you guys watch my styling, I put the comb in front of the flat iron so that as I'm going down the shaft of my hair, the cuticles are remaining intact. The hair is all uniformed. This helps for even heat distribution so that all my hair can get super smooth and straight in one pass and I don't have to further damage my hair. I would highly recommend a heat resistant comb. I've had this for almost a decade. It's amazing, highly, highly recommend. Also a wide tooth comb for detangling my hair. It is also called a shower comb, but I don't use a comb in the shower. I basically just use this when I'm combing my hair on the regular or when I am blow drying my hair, like before I blow dry it. And the brush that I use, let me clean her out because I just used it. <laughs> The Olivia Garden XL Ceramic Pro Paddle Brush, something like that. Is this brush very expensive? Yes, it's about 20 to $25, I know. But I just recently repurchased this maybe two years ago and my previous brush lasted almost five years or so. They are very expensive, but they're worth it. Now, you'll notice when I'm blow drying my hair that I don't smash the blow dryer into the bristles. That's very important. That helps to extend the long longevity of this brush that was very expensive. So I basically just curve my hair around the brush creating tension so my hair can get more straight without having to do this. So I love this brush so much. Once again, how I do my hair and blow dry it to get it really straight and smooth is I kind of go like this with my brush because tension helps to get your hair as straight as possible during the blow drying phase. Okay, on to hot tools. Da, da 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 This is my blow dryer. It's the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium. I received this from a friend probably five or six years ago. Like, I'm telling you, if you buy good products and good tools, they last and they are worth it. Was this expensive? Yes but I haven't had to buy another blow dryer. I love it. It is nano titanium, but I still do feel it's very safe for my hair. I moved away from nano titanium flat irons because they're not the best for my type of hair, but this is very, very powerful. I wanna say it has an Italian engine. Like it gets your hair super dry, super quickly. So I really enjoy that. And I've been using this for years and it hasn't failed me yet. And my last hot tool is my T3 Lucia or Lucea one inch flat iron. I did kind of review this product maybe a year or two ago. I'll link that down below. I love this flat iron, but I will be honest. The only reason why I purchased it 
is because it's white. Not to say that white is better, but I just think it's cute. It's cute to put in my bathroom. I have a white case for it. I love it. Do you need to buy a T3 flat iron? No. I would say buy the T3 curling irons, which I will be getting soon. But I love this product so much. It works well. What I will say is though, if you have very textured hair, this may not be hot enough. It goes up to a number 300 degrees or almost, I don't know. It only has nine heat settings and it doesn't go too, too high. I'll put the temperature range on the screen. I think if you are used to using a very hot flat iron, this won't be good enough, but it does have ceramic plates. So it is healthier for your hair than nano titanium. I find that with African-American types of hair, or textured hair that requires a bit more heat. Nano titanium gets way, way too hot and it's not as protectant in sealing of the cuticle like ceramic is, so that's why I like ceramic. But once again, it's nice, it's expensive though. I don't think you need to spend this much money. Prior to this, I used a GHD flat iron that was also expensive, but it still works and I've had it for over a decade. And the last two products I wanted to talk about, I actually just received in the mail some new ones. These are the Hyrun Hair Care Wash Day Essentials. This is my favorite brand of high quality, fully satin bonnets, okay? I want you to look at the weight of this. This is fully satin inside and out. It is high quality. It has an adjustable drawstring. It comes in various sizes. They also sell these for kids. You can even have printed varieties. They're just amazing. I love these bonnets. I've been using these for probably, oh my goodness, maybe like three or four years now. These bonnets are the best. And then I want to say like two years ago, she came out with the shower cap. This is a satin lined shower cap. The inside is complete satin. Super smooth, it protects your hair. And then the outside is a regular shower cap. Once again, adjustable with a drawstring, high quality. They come in two different sizes. They're also offered for kids as well. What I will say is that I kind of have to tuck it in at the bottom just to make sure no water seeps in at the bottom, but that just might be a me thing. But I love these bonnets and shower caps so much. Once again, Hyrun Hair Care. I'll link her website down below. I have other products that I haven't tried yet, but these I've been using for years and they're amazing, black owned, I've never felt a bonnet that was this high quality. So, we love it. you not heard. I now have makeup consultations, skincare consultations, makeup one-on-ones, and a makeup group masterclass available on my website. If you are looking to up your skincare game to solidify the perfect routine, maybe for the change in season, y'all know pollen is erupting. <laughs> we are well into spring. And if you want to revamp your skincare routine, definitely check out my skincare consultation. I also have a makeup consultation to learn all about makeup and get a customized product list with with each makeup or skincare consultation, after your consultation, I send you a customized product recommendation list. I get to try so many makeup and skincare products because I'm a beauty influencer. I literally have a spreadsheet of over 100 newest, latest, and greatest items that I can help recommend dedicated to your skin type. I also have the makeup one-on-one -on -one and the makeup group masterclass because those are things that you guys have asked for. I am always happy to help. Makeup application does not have to be cumbersome and hard. It can be fun and easy. It's all about getting the preferred look that you want. So definitely check out my website, guys. Class is now in session. Yeah, it is.
my hair this is what it looks like I like to do 
bouncy southern bell curls that's what I call them uh, because I don't wrap my hair and as my hair falls as the day goes it just gets a really nice body wave with bumped ends so yeah this is my hair pretty much all I do to it wash it and straighten it every two weeks it's bouncy it is so hydrated that it feels juicy like as I was blow drying my hair I thought it was wet but it was just so moisturized like my hands feel moisturized you guys if you have dry damaged dehydrated relaxed color treated hair anything of the sort definitely try that hair mask my hair mask with my deep conditioner mm. Juicy, juicy hair, curls, just everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I will link all of the tools and everything that I have to share, all the products that I use, and also the mask instructions down below. Let me know what other types of hair content you guys would like. My routine is always the same. So when you guys tell me that you want an updated video, I'm always like, oh, what do I share? Because I keep my products very simple, less is more. This is just what works for me. I I hope that this was helpful to someone out there who has been struggling because I know from experience that it can be really, really hard to get your hair back on track. I love you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.